Welcome to Peter Ndurangu's YouTube channel, where we explore the world of technology and its impact on our lives. In today's video, we're diving into the world of cyber threats. As technology advances, so do the tactics of cyber criminals. It's crucial to stay informed about the most common types of cyber threats to protect yourself and your digital assets. Get ready to armor up and stay one step ahead of these nefarious activities. Let's jump right in. 1. A SQL injection attack is a type of web application vulnerability where an attacker exploits a weakness in a website's database layer to manipulate or retrieve unauthorized data from the database. This attack occurs when user-supplied input is not properly validated or sanitized before being incorporated into SQL queries. Here's a breakdown of SQL injection attacks, their techniques, impact, and countermeasures. Defined, a SQL injection attack is a technique where an attacker inserts malicious SQL statements into a web application's database query, tricking the application into executing unintended commands. This allows the attacker to manipulate the database, steal sensitive information, modify data, or even gain unauthorized access to the underlying system. Techniques SQL injection attacks can be carried out using various techniques, such as a. Union-based attacks, exploiting the union SQL operator to combine data from different database tables, providing unauthorized access to sensitive information. b. Blind attacks, exploiting the application's response to determine whether a vulnerability exists without directly retrieving the results. This can involve using Boolean-based or time-based techniques to infer information from the application's behavior. c. Error-based attacks, exploiting SQL errors or error messages returned by the application to gather information about the database structure and contents. Impact, SQL injection attacks can have severe consequences, including a. Unauthorized data access, attackers can extract sensitive data, such as usernames, passwords, personal information, or confidential business data. b. Data manipulation or destruction, attackers can modify, delete, or insert malicious data into the database, potentially causing data corruption or disrupting business operations. c. Unauthorized access to the system. In some cases, successful SQL injection attacks can enable attackers to bypass authentication mechanisms and gain unauthorized access to the underlying system or network. Countermeasures. To mitigate the risks associated with SQL injection attacks, consider the following countermeasures. a. Input validation and parameterized queries. Implement strict input validation and use parameterized queries or prepared statements to ensure that user-supplied data is properly sanitized and cannot be interpreted as part of a SQL statement. b. Least privilege principle. Assign database accounts the minimum required privileges necessary for their intended functions, reducing the potential impact of a successful SQL injection attack. c. Regular patching and updates. Keep the web application and database management system up to date with the latest security patches to address any known vulnerabilities that could be exploited by SQL injection. d. Web application firewalls. WAF. Utilize WAF solutions that can detect and block suspicious SQL injection attempts by inspecting incoming web traffic and applying predefined rules and heuristics. e. Secure coding practices. Follow secure coding practices to prevent SQL injection vulnerabilities, such as using parameterized queries, input validation, and proper error handling. f. Security testing and auditing. Conduct regular security testing, including vulnerability scanning and penetration testing, to identify and address SQL injection vulnerabilities proactively. 2. A man in the middle, mitten, attack is a type of cyber attack where an attacker intercepts and alters the communication between two parties without their knowledge. In this attack, the attacker positions themselves between the sender and receiver, capturing and manipulating the data being exchanged. Here's a breakdown of man in the middle attacks, their techniques, impact, and countermeasures. Define, a man in the middle attack occurs when an attacker inserts themselves into the communication channel between two parties, intercepting and potentially altering the data being transmitted. The attacker can eavesdrop on the communication, steal sensitive information, or even impersonate one of the parties involved. Techniques, man in the middle attacks can be executed using various techniques, including a. ARP spoofing, the attacker modifies the address resolution protocol, ARP, cache of the target network, redirecting the traffic to their own machine. b. DNS spoofing, the attacker manipulates the domain name system, DNS, responses, redirecting the victim's request to a fraudulent website or server controlled by the attacker. c. Wi-Fi eavesdropping, the attacker intercepts wireless network traffic, capturing data transmitted over the network without the knowledge of the users. 
D. SSL stripping. The attacker downgrades secure HTTPS connections to insecure HTTP connections, making the traffic susceptible to interception and manipulation. Impact. Man-in-the-middle attacks can have serious consequences, including A. Data theft. Attackers can intercept and steal sensitive information, such as login credentials, financial details, or personal data, compromising the privacy and security of the victims. B. Unauthorized access. Attackers can impersonate one of the parties involved in the communication, gaining unauthorized access to systems, accounts, or sensitive resources. C. Data manipulation. Attackers can modify or tamper with the data being transmitted, altering transactions, injecting malicious content, or conducting unauthorized activities on behalf of the victims. Countermeasures. To protect against man-in-the-middle attacks, consider the following countermeasures. A. Encryption. Implement strong encryption protocols, such as SSL TLS, to secure the communication channel and ensure that data transmitted between parties remains confidential and integrity protected. B. Certificate validation. Verify the authenticity and validity of digital certificates used in secure communications to detect and prevent attempts of impersonation or forged certificates. C. Public key infrastructure. PKI, use a trusted PKI framework to issue and manage digital certificates, ensuring the integrity and authenticity of the communication endpoints. D, two-factor authentication, 2FA, implement 2FA to add an extra layer of security, making it more difficult for attackers to gain unauthorized access even if they manage to intercept credentials. E, network monitoring, deploy intrusion detection and prevention systems, network monitoring tools, and anomaly detection mechanisms to identify and flag suspicious network activities. F, user awareness, educate users about the risks and warning signs of man-in-the-middle attacks, emphasizing the importance of verifying secure connections and being cautious when using public networks. G, VPN usage, encourage the use of virtual private networks, VPNs, when accessing public Wi-Fi networks to encrypt the traffic and establish a secure connection to the intended destination. There you have it, an in-depth exploration of the most common types of cyber threats. By understanding these threats and implementing preventive measures, you can bolster your cybersecurity defenses and stay safe in the digital realm. Remember, knowledge is power, and staying in front is the first line of defense. Stay tuned for more valuable content, and until next time, stay vigilant, stay secure, and keep fighting the good fight against cyber threats. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to Peter Ndurangu's YouTube channel for more high quality content, and hit the notification bell to stay updated with the latest cybersecurity insights.